What's going on Blues? Welcome back to another video and this time I'm going to react to Mateo Kovacic. Mateo Kovacic guys, let's see what he's got in his arsenal of crazy abilities of dribbling. This guy is one of the best dribblers in the world guys. Let's see what we got in this video man. Let's see Mateo Kovacic against Atletico Madrid. Runs through the midfield. Okay, come on. He's just so beautiful. Look at that. Easy. Just so easy and flawless from him. Look, how can you... Three players got just outclassed in that area. They couldn't do anything to get the ball out of Mateo. What a player, man. Look at this. Gets the ball. That body faint. Did you guys see that body faint? Two players got absolutely destroyed. Look at that. One, two, there we go, they're gone. And then this, he passed, um, passed away from third one with the crazy dribbling. Oh, look at this one, oh my goodness. Luis Hall to Mateo. The burst of pace from the midfield. Runs through the whole team, passes it to Hakim Ziyech. And let's see if he's gonna be a goal. They didn't show Jorginho to Kovacic. Back to Kovacic from Pulisic. Look at this. So comfortable. Pulisic, what are you going to do? Easy finish from Tammy. Come on, Kova. Oh my god. I mean, this one this one was a little bit poor from the West Ham team. They didn't really block him, but it was, again, a great skill move from Kova. Let's see. Athletic Madrid, once again, they struggle to manage and defend Kovacic. Look at that turn, guys. We gotta go back. Timo Pukki in the mud. Look at this. Boom. Gets the ball. Love to Sheik. Oh my god. Love to Sheik and Kovacic, two of my favorite midfielders in the same midfield. Say less. Um, come on. Tackle from Aspie. Kovacic. Russell um, through United's midfield. Bruno couldn't do anything. Once again, turns real quick, Henderson can't do anything, and he runs away. The Jovacic midfield duo again, Kovacic, look at the pace of the dribbling, absolutely amazing. Wonderful and poor finish from Werner. Come on. I just gotta say, guys, before this, this um, little clip continues, Kovacic's dribbling let me know what you think, but at least, in my opinion, he's top 5 in the, in the world. I'm not sure, maybe top 5 in the players, or he could be, he could be, he's at least top 10 best dribblers in the world, but I would say he's probably top 3 best dribblers as midfielders, you know, top, the, top 10, top 3 best um, midfield dribblers, you know, he's up there, man. I don't know, he's probably Pogba, he's a good one, but again, he hasn't really shown the consistency. Um, who else is there? I mean, Eden Hazard, obviously, back in the old days, he was one of the best ones. Um, but recently, he's been injured or whatever. Messi, he's like a, another, uh, he's arguably the best dribbler of all time, you can say. But Kovacic, for me, right now, is like top three center midfielders in the world with the best dribbling. Bernardo Silva is up there. But yeah, look at this. Look at this. Speaking of Bernardo Silva, he's defending against Kovacic right now. But look at this. Look at this clip, guys. Just look. What is that? Sterling and Bernardo got absolutely met, destroyed right there. Look at that. Jorginho back to Kova. I love that little. Um, it's like he, it's like a half fade body faint. It just like shows that he wants to go the other way, but he continues going the same way. Look, look at look at this skill. I love this. Look, boom. Great pass to the wide area against Bayern Munich. Kimmich can't do anything. Thiago is trying to stop him. He put a little bit of pressure, but Kovacic kept moving. Look at this. Oh my goodness, Kovacic. This was his great performance against Liverpool this year. What a player, man. We paid like 40 million for Kovacic, I believe. I think 40 million. I think he's been such a great midfielder for that. Look at that. Kovacic gets the ball. There were no passing options. He decides to go it by himself. Creates the space for himself and gives it to Mason. What a player. 
come on, Kovacic, again, another, another dribbling skills, deep run from our defense, look at this, against Juventus, against Liverpool this time, gets the ball from Henderson, 1-2, guys, guys, hold up, we gotta go back on this, Trent, Trent, what are you doing, look at this, boom, that's filthy guys, that's absolutely filthy, unbelievable, come on Kovacic, oh my goodness, that's, that's, that's Kovacic, you know, that's Kovacic in at its finest, you know, form, look at this, little drag back, too good man, Croatia are blessed with him and Modric in the midfield. Oh my goodness, look at that. Let's see. Is that Erling Holland? That was Holland, man, in, in Salzburg days. Kovacic gets the ball, another beautiful skill, and draws the foul. So crucial for Tuchel's midfield. Put Aurelian Schumann or Declarez next to him and he's going to be feasting. Look at this run once again. Jorginho back to Kova. Nice. Against Ajax. Abraham. And a simple finish. So easy. I love, I love Kovacic's dribbling, man. You can never get enough of that. Never. It's so good. You you just can like watch it for hours. I wonder if there is a longer clip because this um, this highlight is not as long. It was like six or seven minutes. Well, look at that! Ball control, magnificent, dribbling, elite. Look at Ken. He just he just doesn't lose the ball. Magnificent. Speechless, man. Speechless. So this all these intricate details with his footwork. Honestly, world class, world class guys. Look at that. Friend can't do anything. You're not gonna stop him. What are you gonna do? You're not stopping him. You no one is stopping him. Stop tackling. Stop committing errors. You're not stopping him. This one for Croatia. God, they are again making errors. You're not gonna stop Kola. This guy's too good. And the famous gloves. Look at that. Driving through the midfield. Boom. Knocks the ball in front of him and just runs with his base burst of pace. We gotta go back, guys. This one was this one was too good. Look at this. Two players destroyed with one move. And obviously they had to stop him with a foul. The only way you can actually do stop him, you know. Oh man, this guy, wait, the video is over? Guys, the video is over. Unbelievable. How is that possible? We are just getting into the rhythm. But in this six minutes, guys, hopefully you guys saw the brilliance of Kovacic's dribbling. This guy is absolutely insane. Honestly, I'm pretty sure, in my opinion, he's still not even close to his prime. I think in two years, three years, he's going to be hitting his prime. And that's when things are going to get serious and dangerous for other teams. And when we get like a proper, a young and athletic defensive midfielder, a holding midfielder in Declan Rice or Shumani, when he actually can be a little bit more um, free and less, I guess, disciplined with his defensive um, actions, then we're going to see the true Kovacic. You know, you see Kanta and Jorginho. They've got, I mean, Conte has been struggling with a lot of injuries. He hasn't been consistently playing. And then, you know, Jorginho, he's got his physical um, limits. So, coach is just kind of forced to play next to him to give him a little bit more defensive stability. But give him a Declan Rice or a Shumeni and just watch coach dominate the Premier League midfield, just like he's doing right now, but even better in uh, higher levels. And yeah, honestly, we are blessed to have this guy, you know. Let me know your thoughts about Kovacic and, you know, give me give me your favorite um, Kovacic dribble or like moment of his Chelsea career. 
for me, it has to be that Liverpool game, um, like this season, which dominated the midfield, dominated the game, man of the match performance, simply elite. Uh, but yeah, guys, thank you for watching. Make sure to like and subscribe, and catch you guys later in the next video. Bye-bye.